Does Norton Motorcycles have a new owner? Catch you inside. Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com. Click on the bell next to the subscribe button for all future videos. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about BDO. They are the current administrators uh, of Norton Motorcycles who have uh, come under uh, lots of scrutiny recently and uh, who've got into financial woes, not only at the higher echelons of the management structure, but also uh, throughout the whole structure of the company, uh, it appears. If you watch my other videos on government assistance and also the uh, pension investigation, uh, you'll find that all up there as well. But BDO are now uh, shortlisting a number of potential buyers uh, for the company. And these uh, buyers are not only individuals, but they're also corporations uh, from around the world who have uh, invested interest uh, in the company as well. One name has come to light though, uh, that uh, seems uh, quite promising. Uh, whether this is actually amount to anything, we don't know as yet. Now a name that has come to the top of the uh, list here is a local guy from uh, Nottingham in the UK called Steve Murray, who was actually one of the original investors in the company and who was set to lose over a million pounds. Now he was uh, initially with the company for the first couple of years, but he was pushed out uh, of his uh, role and he's uh, looking to actually try and regain the, the company and salvage what he can. There are no guarantees that anybody can salvage in Norton Motorcycles, but one of the big problems uh, that is reported here is that not only only uh, is it going to be a difficult purchase, but apparently intellectual rights and properties are not only strictly held with Norton Motorcycles as the company, they're spread out uh, in lots of different uh, areas, subdivisions, different holders. Uh, so the next uh, owner will have a lot of uh, issues to sort out, not only the financial regularities, the income uh, tax uh, or the, um, the tax bill that is owed to the HMRC in the UK. Uh, but also they're going to have to deal with uh, the holdings values uh, and also the big deficit and also to repair uh, the huge damage uh, that has been done to uh, customer uh, satisfaction but also confidence uh, in the brand. As it's already been reported, many people have either lost their motorcycles or have lost money that they put down on motorcycles. There's no record of that uh, investment either in some cases and many motorcycles that were sent back for servicing or for work to be done have actually disappeared or they've been broken down to actually try and create other motorcycles or service other motorcycles so not only was there trouble at the top but it was also it appears that there was trouble uh, all the way through the, the company there what was going on who knows i'm sure we'll find out uh, within uh, within time but it appears daily there is new information coming out there is new uh, stories uh, to be told and uh, more dissatisfaction and bewilderment uh, about how this company was run and how it was allowed to uh, run for so long in such a bad way However, this uh, new investor or potential investor, Steve Murray, uh, is likely there to uh, predominantly try and protect his investment uh, initially. Now, whether that means being able to salvage the company or whether that means to be able to strip the assets and sell off individual assets in order to regain his uh, initial investment, who knows? But say there will be lots of responsibilities, not only in terms of tax burden but also uh, pension uh, deficits as well uh, to uh, to deal with and as I say also the customer rebuilding that needs to be done but interesting times for BDO to be able to sort through or sift through this uh, list of potential uh, buyers investors and uh, well if it can be uh, sorted out if it can be saved uh, if it can be changed that's the most important thing there's no point in actually saving Norton motorcycles for it to continue to run in the same vein it needs to be changed completely and do they completely start again with one model motorcycle and slowly uh, gradually build up or do they try and uh, repair what they've got a lot of work to be done whether it can be achieved 
Who knows? Watch this space. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave those comments below. Check out the website, revelatoralf.com. Click on the bell next to the subscribe button, and I'll catch you again. Bye now.